Salam alaikum. It's a quiet morning in Baghdad, and a group of Iraqi federal policemen are looking forward to the future. Uh, you get to take it. We just got to make sure it doesn't have any rounds on it. They're getting to see the inside of a U.S. Army forward operating base for the first time. Okay. They're medics from all over Iraq coming together for an experimental two-day training course. Their escort and teacher is Army Sergeant Alex Norman. He's the medical advisor of the local federal police transition team. When the American forces are no longer here, they're going to take and step up and do everything that, uh, that we've, we've been helping them out with. His plan is to get the Iraqi medics up to speed with the latest information in combat first aid. Two people, one table. Day one of the two-day training is the more traditional this classroom setting. Life. Today we're going to be covering casualty assessment. With the help of translation, Sergeant Norman teaches the Iraqis the specifics of battlefield trauma care. So we've gone through airway and we've established that they're breathing correctly. Next thing we look at is their circulation. Are they able to get blood to all the cells in their body? Sergeant Norman's focus for this class is for these Iraqis to learn the easy way because his experiences in three combat deployments created a lot of lessons learned. It's stuff that I wish I would learned and stuff that I did learn the hard way, stuff that I know works and stuff that if used properly will save lives. A major lesson was explaining how the tourniquet can control bleeding, a life-saving step in battle that was treated as a last resort in the past. This training will help us in many ways. For example, if my colleague got injured, I would know what to do. But Sergeant Norman knows there's only so much you can learn from sitting in a classroom. So that's why he built a practical exercise here at Bob Falcon, something these Iraqi federal police have never seen before until today. Add some smoke, atmosphere, and a sense of urgency, and day two kicks off more like the real thing. You got a chest pain? Sergeant Norman and his fellow medics gave the Iraqis a quick run through of how to react to an ambulance. Who is with you in the vehicle? Armed with what they learned in the classroom, the Iraqis donned some realistic makeup, packed their CLS bags, and dove into action. This hands-on portion was the highlight for Major Laith Shocker, the platoon commander. We are very happy because the Americans are doing a lot for us, giving us these lessons to help our police officers get some much-needed medical training. We are now suffering from roadside bombs and IEDs, and with this training we can provide our officers the care they need more efficiently. Efficiency on the battlefield is exactly what Sergeant Norman hopes these Iraqis walk away with. We're just taking what we know works and turning it over to them, and then they'll in turn take their internal standard operating procedures, tool them the way that they need to, and come up with a finished product for what works with them. And although this was their first time setting foot on a U.S. Army FOB, they leave prepared with the skills to help secure the safety of their fellow policemen and the future of Iraq. Reporting from FOB Falcon, I'm Air Force Sergeant Todd Caballon.